local vet has a timely warning for pet owners after a bat with rabies was found in Abilene last Wednesday. This alert comes after a neighborhood dog was found playing with that rabid bat. Our Miriam Chamberlain brings us the latest on how pet owners can keep their animals safe. We just need to keep our pets vaccinated. With spring season upon us, Animal Health and Medical Center's Dr. Alan Bolt says more wild animals carrying rabies could be expected. If we keep our pets vaccinated, then you're not going to get the spread that uh, we would if we don't have them vaccinated. Over a period of time, Dr. Bolt says the virus can build up in the population, and just like any other disease, it spills out. Once we isolate a rabies this early in the year, then you better look out because we're probably going to have uh, a lot more this summer. Dr. Bolt says typically when a nocturnal animal such as bats are out during the day, then you should assume that it is rabid. It creates problems in their brain and so they're not acting the, the way they normally do. You know, so that means that they're, they've got an infection of some type. As was the case of the bat found April 13th in the Mesquite Forest neighborhood. The chances of a bat at your house being rabid is very small, but you can't be too careful. Interim Director for Abilene Animal oh. Services, Karen Holland, says a dog was found playing with the rabid bat. Luckily, the dog had all its current vaccines. Take all the precautions because rabies can spread through saliva, through a scratch, through a bite. Um, for bats, they can scratch you without you even knowing that they scratched you because they're so small. Both Holland and Dr. Bolt says a rabies vaccine must be administered to pets every year, as it is a requirement in the state of Texas. In Abilene, Miriam Chamberlain, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Miriam. Dr. Bolt says for pets exposed to rabid animals, they'll need to be quarantined following the state regulations with the public health department. The encouraged quarantine period is set for 10 days or more, depending on the severity of the case.